Welcome everybody to uh, the first video of maybe several. I always say that, and then I never follow through. This is time is going to be different. These videos are going to be based on Dungeons and Dragons 5e, just in case anybody cares. Specifically, I want to talk about homebrewed rules, and this is my favorite rule. My absolute have to put it in every campaign from now on. It's just always going to be something that will have to be. Uh, doled out between characters that is rolling for hotness and it seems like that's very mm, shallow of a roll but i absolutely love the roll uh when people are in my campaigns and they get meted with a new person they tend to roll for hotness it's something that's totally voluntary you can do it whether or not you want to because i think that there's a degree of people that know where their characters stand and i i like that i think that that is super cool if you're like oh yeah no uh, my character would totally be into this other character this npc even or maybe even another party member however i have yet to make a character that had a particular gender role necessarily i never made a gay character but i've never made really like a straight character all my characters have been mm, vaguely fluid i guess i was in a campaign with a group of people and they made a joke and they said roll for hotness so we did we rolled a d20 to determine how attractive our character found their character not necessarily meaning how attractive their character was just our interpretation of it just like if you were to roll insight and try to guess something based on is this person lying or perception and try to figure out what's going on inside this maze maybe traps uh roll for hotness is exactly one of those as well we had a fear bulk who came to, uh, around a, a very large you know just big all over she was a big girl she was a barmaid he he asked me he's like can i get advantage on a roll for hotness and i'm like yeah sure no you totally can get an advantage on roll for that's exactly canon if your character is totally into bigger women then that's you know, why wouldn't you get advantage on that? Just like if you made a character that was straight uh, and you'd be like, I want to roll for hotness, but sh can I do it with disadvantage? Because, you know, it's not my cup of tea, but maybe, maybe this elf's got it going on. You know, I don't know. We had another character uh, who played a, uh, a drow and she was like, I need to have big titties. And I'm like, yeah, j totally go for it. Do what you want to do. I'm not, I have a no snip policy. I do not snip wings. You just, you fly as far as you can, Icarus. She had a character, and she's like, my character's very busty. That's just, that's what I want. And I'm like, cool, okay, you got a, you know, you got a busty 5-3 drow. Good character. She ends up getting into a little bit of scrape with our uh, dwarves. They imprison her, and dwarvish law is a little Hammurabi-esque. When somebody pierces you with an arrow, you get to attack them back once and then you're fair it's fair game you guys are both it was an eye for an eye so yeah no she totally shot one of the dwarves they managed to capture her they imprisoned her until you know her trial and what they did was they gathered around and uh the dwarf was just gonna punch her in the face you know that's how he wanted to get back he walks up to her and i have him roll for hotness nat 20 so he just was like ah i uh, I can't hit you. So, like, and the uh, same character, we have a high cleric, uh, a high priest, and uh, he has this, the Temple of the Cosmos uh, is where he, he resides. High priest rise. Another nat 20 on Roll for Hotness for uh, Vitoth, the Drow's character. Now he's just, you know, he's like, hey, is everybody all right in the party? Is, uh, are we all doing good? Vitoth, you doing good? I know you are my girl. Like, he, he treats her differently. And I think that that adds a nice layer of stuff. Like, um, I had made a tiefling character, and I was like, he doesn't, he, he's got a weird relationship with gnomes. His father was a gnome. There was always that, that aspect of like, oh, if there's a gnome, he's going to treat him a little differently. And the rest of the party was like, oh, so he's racist. And I'm like, it's not racist. It's it's just, he's got a thing. It's maybe an, a degree of prejudice, but uh, not racist. Love more accepts all kinds. Uh, but with his father, there was, there was issues. I think that it helps flesh out a character if everybody's rolling for hotness all the time. And if you act upon that, it's even better. If you get a one on somebody, you may not be as willing to listen to a haggle Rather than if you get a 20 on something, then you might 
be a little more apt to maybe give them one of your swords if they needed a weapon. You know, like, I think that this is, it's, it's a fun rule, it's a very easy to implement rule, and you could just do layers upon layers with it. And, and, and I think that it shows back in dividends. So yes, any time that you have a campaign, if you're the DM, explain to your party that you are totally running the roll for hotness rule. You won't regret it. It, it just, it's so fun. It helps out people break out of RP shells, where it's not, I run up and punch the guy, you know, like all the time. Just, just this little tiny bit, and and it it just pays back in spades. It is so fun to roll for hotness. This has been my first video, real quick one, a little short guy. Maybe I'll eventually do a background. May your hotness rolls forever be twenties. Oh, uh, make sure to subscribe and and check the bell and the whistles and all that stuff. I'm gonna be probably doing several videos today because uh, I got. Loads to talk about. We'll see. Okay, bye. I think that it's fair to mention, though, Vitoth also rolled for uh, a large goat that runs their cart. That like, and and she rolled very high. I think it was like at eighteen, if not twenty, on the roll. So she treats the goat a little differently. Yeah, you you don't want to always win every time, but uh, I'm interested to see what happens with that relationship as well in a different kind of way, I guess. Yeah.